Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. It's been a long time. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, buy me some food, my friend, my wife, brought over the Okay. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Adeboye, meet my, my amazing cousin here. Her name is Foluke Adeyokunu. And Foluke, meet my very good friend. Ah. His name is Enoch. Enoch Adeboye. Good afternoon, sir. How do you do? Fine. Uh, where do you work? I am a student. A student of United Missionary College. And I am in my second year. Oh. What about you? Um, I'm a student of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. Mm. Yeah. And I'm studying mathematics. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yes, yes, it's interesting. <laughs> Mr. Boy, you can let go now. Let go now, let go. <laughs> so let, let's go back to the state of things when things were still normal, you know. <laughs> Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to God's Own TV, and I am Folu. Okay, so today in this video, we want to talk about Enoch the movie. The question is Have you seen Enoch the movie? If you are yet to kindly go to Damlola Mike Bamloye's YouTube channel right now, Enoch is number one on trending in Nigeria. And in less than a week, very less than a week of releasing Enoch, Enoch is number one on trending. Over one million views on Damlola Mike Bamloye's YouTube channel alone. Now, I didn't even have other channel that premiered the movie. So if you are yet to do it, Quickly rush to Damlala Mike Bamlo's YouTube channel right now and see Enoch for yourself. It is a movie that you just have to see for yourself. But in this video, I just want to make a review. My own review lets me know what you think about everything I'm going to say here in the comment section below. God bless you in Jesus' name. Okay, so the first thing I want to say about this movie is about the life of Pastor Adeboye. And it is the fact that he had this huge and, you know, like... um admirable grace that even though he was not born again when he got married he was still able to marry a woman that was appropriate for the purpose of god for his life he was still able to marry a woman that of course i can't describe as perfect because nobody is perfect but that was and still is perfect for his purpose i am sure that when pastor the was getting married then when he fell in love with young Miss Folu, he was not thinking about becoming a pastor talkless of pastoring one of the largest churches in the whole world. But look at how God wrote his story. So wonderful. Okay, so Enoch was a great movie. Like, that is just like undeniable. But before I go on, let me talk about some things that I wish I saw in the movie, but I did not see and I was a little disappointed. But to be sincere, I was still blessed, very blessed by the movie. Okay, so to number one, talking about costume, look at the makeup on the face of Tomiwa Samson. That is uh, the young mommy Gio when they were doing their wedding. The makeup was just so on point to be in the 60s. Like, look at the makeup. Look at the highbrow. It was too on point. Like, you know, um, makeup and everything has not advanced so much to that level then. So maybe something relatable would have been done, but I believe that that in no way affected the, the message or even the whole quality of the movie. So it is just like a by the way thing, something that could have been done better. All right. So another thing that I want to say about this movie and is very important to me is the fact that I wish that um, we saw some of the things that we've never heard before. Now, if you watch the movie, you will see that most of the things, or let me even say that all the things that we saw in the movie are the things that Pastor Adeboye himself has shared in the past. It's just like there is no novelty, there is no wow factor, there, is, there was no newness, as in I, we were seeing what we've heard before. So I just wish that... Um, we saw something new, something that maybe Pastor Adeboye is yet to share. You know, something that is going to like surprise us. But I also understand the fact that a lot of people will enjoy that. You know, it is one thing to hear story, another thing to see it on your screen, to watch it in action. So that is a plus. But I just wish there is novelty to the whole story. I just wish there are some things that we have not seen before, that we've not heard before, either from Pastor Adeboye or even from Mommy Adeboye herself. So 
that is just me i wish we can get something more and also i wish that they talk more about some of the challenges that pastor adiboye went through at the beginning of the ministry especially when he was ordained as the general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god now pastor adiboye himself shared a lot of story how they dealt with poverty with uh, with resistance now if you look at towards the end of the movie they showed uh, when it was announced as the general overseer you know they showed the resistance of a lot of elders some worked out but some did not leave and they gave him issues maybe some came back but we know that they gave him some of the elders gave him the issues then and those were part of the experiences that he had that helped to build his faith in god that helped to build his patience so i just wish that we saw more of that because there are lots of lessons that will be learned from that. Maybe we young believers will be able to learn more about how to handle oppositions and the people that are restricting us and the people that are not accepting our message or the position that the Lord has placed us in. So, and also talking about the financial challenges, you know, that was, I believe that was one of the time he had to learn faith and depending on God totally. So a lot of lessons are in that part, a lot of lessons. So I just wish that we had the opportunity to see that part in movie. You know, the part where they had only one small meat to share and they were eating together and, and uh, they were waiting on each other to see who would take it first. You know, a lot of lessons to be learned from the life of Pastor Adeboye. And I just wish that we saw all of that. And I also wish there is going to be like another part. I'm not saying that there is going to be a part two, but I just wish there is going to be like another part of Enoch maybe another part that we are supposed to see but also maybe there are reasons that Pastor Adebo did not want to share those parts with us so let's make do with what we have that is what I did and there is something that they did in the movie that I noticed and that is the fact that they omitted a lot of stories a lot of storylines that would have painted some people in bad light you know maybe some things that some people did against Pastor and maybe against pastor and his wife or against his family they excluded those part of the stories because there is no how you will share those stories that some people will not be seen in negative light for example at the beginning where pastor adeboye's dad had to sell his prized possession to send him to school you know the rest of the family would have resisted that they would have been angry and jealous like he's not the only child He's not the only one that's supposed to go to school, you know, stuff like that. But they did not show the, all those parts. They didn't show much about the family and especially, you know, the things that used to happen in that type of setting. Because there is no how they would do that, that um, some of the family members will not be shown in bad light. So it is just like positive vibes, positive energies always. I remember that the other time I mentioned how they didn't show more about the elders especially those that resisted him. Now, I'm also thinking that they did not do that because how are you going to talk about the people that resisted Pastor Adiboye without mentioning names and without, even if you don't want to mention their names, but without sharing the stories and people are trying, oh, so that daddy was that terrible. So that mommy was that terrible. There is no how they are going to share that part of the story without sharing other people's faults and weaknesses. And that was completely avoided in a creative manner that you won't even notice too much so that is very commendable sometimes it is difficult to share real life stories because the people that offended you that resisted you that even did something bad to you you don't want to paint them in bad lights because you've forgiven them a lot of times there will be like a confusion on how to handle offenses when you're telling your stories but the the the, the best way to handle such is just to omit them or just to mention them in such a way that they will not be an important part of the story so that is what i could get from there and like i said before the story is good is great like i can give it 8 over 10. And when seeing the movie, there was this part that I had to put myself in Pastor Adeboye's shoe. Especially when Baba Kinda Yomi told the church members to go withdraw their money, their savings from the bank and bring to church. You know, that was like a divine instruction. But 
it was not an easy thing, especially when you have family, you have kids. But Pastor Adebone did it, the wife too did it. I believe it was not easy, but they followed through and God showed himself faithful in their lives. The first thing I want to talk about is the casting of the movie. I mean, the casting was on point. It was appropriate. Like Pastor Adola Giadiola playing the role of Daddy Gio, Pastor Adeboe was so on point. You know, like it brought a lot of life into the role. Now, I don't know the pedigree of Pastor Adola Giadiola as an actor, but I want to see him in more movies. Like there is one gospel movie that has been shown on my timeline and because of him, I want to see that movie. I am going to make sure that I see that movie because I want to see him act another role that is not Daddy Gio. I actually want to see him in another form. He played the role so well, like he was present in the role. He was comfortable in the role. And I also want to commend the young lady that played the role of Mommy Gio in the movie, Tommy was Samson. She was comfortable in the role also. And she was so free. She played the role well. And I was actually convinced. And somehow, there is a resemblance between her and the real Mommy Gio. I mean, just look at them side by side. You will see like a little bit of a resemblance. Of course, they're not family, but the casting was just so on point. Like they picked somebody that looked like Mommy Gio and she acted like the young Mommy Gio. Especially look at the scene. Especially look at the scene. The scene where the daughter was sick and she was complaining about her husband loving his books so much that he was not paying attention to the family. That scene was so moving. And to my favorite parts of the movie, to my favorite scene, where bro Enoch Adejare went to meet his father-in-law for the first time. Let me show you the scene. Bye, me today. Ah. Mr. Deboye, a joke, sir. He's already around. But he's not inside yet. He's almost inside. Mr. Deboye, a joke, sir. What should I do when he comes inside? Then you prostrate. It? Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm prostrating. Mr. Deboe, please get up and sit down. I want him to meet me like this. Mr. Deboe, get up and sit down. Okay. Hey, Juko, sit down. Just calm down. Okay? Just calm down. <coughs> okay, so what do you think about that? I love the chemistry between the two actors in that scene. I love the chemistry between young Miss Folu and bro Enoch in that scene. It was so on point, like, and so funny. I enjoyed the comic relief that was provided in that scene. Okay, so to the second thing I love about this movie, that is going to be the costume. You will notice that in a lot of places, they actually try to imitate the original story, the original costume, you know, what the world then and now. For example, look at the graduation picture that was taken at Elisha Grammar School when young Inno Kadejari graduated from Elisha Grammar School. Can you see the picture? Look at the real one that was shown at the end of the movie. Look at the wedding picture too. Look at the wedding attire that was worn in real life and in the movie. Also look at the place where Baba King Dayomi was praying for Pastor Adeboye when he was anointed as a minister, as a pastor in RCCG. So old, but there was this originality that was brought to this part in the movie and it is so commendable very commendable and talking about the story damnola magbamloe wrote the story so you're not really expecting anything but the best from damnola magbamloe so and i i love the fact that the movie was straight to the point you know there was some comic relief but they were not overdone and also um the dialogue were not unnecessarily long and boring you know there are some movies that you'll be seeing and you'll be getting tired and bored and you know, this one was so straight to the point, like you don't even want to stand up to do anything without at least pausing the movie. You have to pause it. If not, if you stand up to go drink water, you'll come back and you've missed a lot because the dialogue was so on point. Everything was just straight to the point. And that is a very big work, like um, something that is commendable, that the writer of the movie, Damnola Magbamele, should be commended for. And of course, we pray that may God continue to grant him the grace, the wisdom, the inspiration, the gumption, and 
the, the opportunities to do more of this type of work for the advancement of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. So a lot of lessons to be learned from this movie. And let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till I come your way again, this is God's Own TV. And I am Folu, okay, I am Folu Ke, Mommy G.O.'s namesake. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Bye.